Come one, come all to the most spectacular event this month in GCW history, the Royal Rumble of 2022. We are officially on the road to WrestleMania 10, and after tonight, we'll know the GCW Championship match for that very event. That's right, I'm here with my broadcasting partner, Luke, and we got a plethora of action-packed matches lined up for you tonight, starting with the five-way to the top, featuring Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, Seth Rollins had a very interesting 2021, and now this year starts off very well with a huge shot for Rollins. Yeah, and if you ask me, I think this was all carefully calculated by the visionary. Seth Rollins just acted like a lunatic these past few months just for the sake of getting much closer to the GCW World Championship. Yeah, I can definitely see a point there that he succeeded in that. And now this man was added to this match after getting kind of screwed out of the main event of the most recent GCW Live show. And here comes a man that ruled over the brutal kingdom of GCW Extreme for such a long time. The innovator of unscripted violence, John Moxley. Devastating loss to Roman Reigns, but it was nothing compared to what happened to Kenny Omega at this past year's WrestleMania at the hands of AJ Styles. Since then, he's been going down a downward spiral. Recently, he just lost to one of the members of this five-way match, Seth Rollins. But now, he has a chance to make GCW the Kenny Show once again. Just imagine the possibility of Kenny and Ibushi later tonight, but not if it goes to Will Ospreay. Ever since becoming a true heavyweight, Will Ospreay has had a tough climb to the top. Every now and then, he'll come this close to gaining the GCW World Championship. But now, this could be his very last chance, and I think he better make it good. Absolutely agree with you here. With that nightmare-inducing sound, there's only one thing that's for sure. The Beast has come to town. He is the one man to defeat Walter twice in a row. And now, could he be the only man left standing in this five-way matchup? As the bell rings and all five of these warriors are ready for battle. Kenny Omega going straight towards Brock Lesnar. Gets the elbow and just punt kicks him out of the ring. Just like that, Brock Lesnar is stunned. And here comes oh. Osprey with the... Oh, no! No, wait a minute! Are wow. you kidding me? Osprey always five steps ahead. Brock Lesnar can't even believe it. And now Osprey running towards Lesnar. Belly to belly what? suplex inside the ring. Kenny Omega goes for a beat trigger. Spanish fly by Osprey. Is there anything this man cannot do? I don't know. This man is just unbelievable. It's Moxley and Rollins are going at it here on the outside. Oh! And just with the girth of Brock Lesnar's body, he was able to discombobulate. My no! God! Moxley and Seth Rollins at the same time as he uses Rollins as a battering ram against the innovator. Run scripted violence, but there's nothing scripted about that boot to the mush by Osprey. It seems like he has a score to settle with Brock Lesnar. I think he has something to prove here tonight oh. by being the one man to pin Brock Lesnar in so long. And now what's he thinking oh, here? No. Osprey no. with the Oz cutter on the apron. Oh. No, countered into the German suplex. Oh my God. Somebody check on Osprey. I think he landed dead on his head on the concrete ground. I think first his shoulder oh. collided my with the apron God. and the rest of his body came crashing down onto the ground. And here comes Moxley with the oh. sick kick, sending Brock Lesnar crashing against the solid steel steps. Yeah, back of the head connected with the steps. Now what's Moxley thinking of doing here? No, 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 wait, this is too much. This oh, is too yes. much. Oh my God, Spike, pile driver onto the steel. I think it's safe to say that Brock Lesnar might be out cold here tonight. And now Seth Rollins looking to reignite his rivalry with Kenny Omega as he unleashes that beat trigger onto the chin. And now might it be already one-winged angel time Rollins counters. We have seen this in the past. Rollins counters. Seth Rollins once again now. Curb stop able to be avoided by Kenny Omega. But Moxley, Moxley from behind. Oh. Huge German suplex takes both of them down. 
Very nicely done by Moxley. X-Plex here to Kenny Omega. Kenny up on his feet. Moxley tries to go for a lariat there. Rolls him up. Now Mox. Wait a minute. Kenny Omega. Fighting to get back up to his feet here. One winged angel. No. Courts oh. wrath. Courts wrath into the corner. Mox is down. I think the back of his neck and head just collided with those turnbuckles. Yeah. Concussion oh, City, yeah. bitch. Oh, oh no. God. Such viciousness in this match already. We barely just got started. And now Kenny signaling for the V-Trigger. Mox is in trouble. Wait, able to avoid it. Mox from behind, German suplex. Wait, Kenny's up on his feet, but he gets the sling play from Seth Rollins. And now Rollins thinking for another one to Mox, but Mox able to oh. counter with the paradigm shift. Just dunks his head onto the canvas. This could be it. Mox could be the number one contender here, but there's Brock Lesnar with the knees to the gut. Brock and Mox. These two have such a history here in GCW. If you remember that first blood match all the way back when, Mox and Brock Lesnar took each other to the limit. But Brock Lesnar is taking all of these men to their absolute limits here tonight. Yeah, that was back at Money in the Bank 2020 as he dumps Rollins on his head. Wait, Kenny oh. from behind. This is V-Trigger right to the jaw of the beast. It could be over. No. Brock Lesnar gets his shoulder up, Look, and Kenny Omega was back. that close to pinning Brock Lesnar for the first time in his career here at GCW, but Kenny able to switch his position. Oh, super kick by Osprey on the outside. Brock is stunned, and now I think Kenny and Osprey are working together to take down Brock. It seems like it. Now oh. Osprey from the apron drop kick to both Brock and Kenny taking the boat down, but at what cost? As you can see, the effects of this matchup are catching up with Osprey. But meanwhile, in the ring, oh. wait, never mind, forget I said anything. Look, Mox able to counter. Osprey's in trouble from the up top. Wait a minute. A slow driver God. from the top. He goes crashing against Seth Rollins. Such innovation from John Moxley. And now Mox. Looking to put things to bed here with the paradigm shift onto Osprey. Can he be the one way? Osprey counters. Springboard into the car. Oh! Os cutter to Mox. Misses with the elbow. Oh. oh! Emphatic elbow to the back of the neck of Osprey as he gets dumped out like a piece of garbage. And now Rollins. Oh, curb there stop it is. to Mox. Could this be it? Could this be Rollins' big break? Kenny Omega tried to intervene, but he got a super kick for his troubles. But look at this. Mox wisely rolling out of harm's way. Uh -oh. And here comes the beast. Rollins is scared out of his boots. One-on-one -on -one time here tonight in the middle of this ring. Rollins and Brock. Oh, no. Look. Look. Wait, no, there's Viscera from behind, the disciple of Rollins. But look at the strength of Lesnar. Able to German suplex that there, huge, gigantic JTM. man. But wait, JTM from behind has Brock Lesnar up. Burning oh. hammer, oh my god, he just killed him. Oh, no. Rollins with that curb stop. That's this it. is it. Rollins is the number one contender. Two, oh. no, Brock Lesnar kicks out. Oh my god, I thought that was it. The referee reassuring everyone in attendance that it was only two, and Rollins is beside himself. Yeah, he wants to finish it off now. Wait! Oh, oh. my god, he just got catapulted in midair! And then oh. a beat trigger on the way down! And so does Brock Lesnar! Reverse run up there! Wait, Lesnar counters! German suplex! Lands on his feet! Oh my god, to the back of the head! Kenny Omega! It's not going to let this go lying down. He needs to be the number one contender. He needs to be the one to finally slay Brock Lesnar here in this matchup. And now Kenny signaling that it's over. Has him up. Poised up for the J Driller. No, oh. oh, he lands it. Nails it right on the head of Lesnar. Oh, my, my God. God. Just for good measure, hidden blade from Osprey to the face. Kenny goes for the feature, he counter. gets the hook kick to the back of the head. Oh my God, just turns Kenny Omega inside out with that roundhouse kick. Osprey, this could finally be his moment here. Brock is in trouble. 
super kick to the lips! He just damn near kicked his head off! And another one. Brock Lesnar taking it, but oh, he still has counter, his head on it, and he does! And he's using it to torture Osprey's leg with the stretch muffler, the Brock Lock, locked in! Wait, Osprey, reverse oh. Rana! This match is insane! Osprey is insane! But that just might be what he needs to finally become GCW. What? Oh my god, did I just see that shit? Feet trigger in midair! Oh my Osprey god! Osprey is down, and Brock Lesnar! Look at the fear in the eyes of the beast! Wait, when have we ever seen this? Roll up for Brock Lesnar! No! Kenny Omega able to get up, able to get the shoulder up. Rollins gets the boot! Oh. And Moxley Beat gets trigger. dealt with as well! Caught! Caught him into the F5 position! Wait! Kenny able to reverse it! Jay Driller! Can he hit him once again? Look at this! Wait! What the what? fuck am I saying here? Brock Lesnar! What a counter! What a counter from the base! Never say he's not creative oh. with his offense! F5 connects to Kenny Omega! And Brock Lesnar is the number one contender for Kota Ibushi's title! Brock gotta go through another match later tonight. What an absolute banger of a matchup here tonight. And this is only the first matchup of the Royal Rumble. Kenny Omega so close, but still so far from defeating Brock Lesnar. And because of that, Lesnar is on his way to becoming GCW champion once again. WWE figures, AEW figures, accessories, unreleased items, glorious customs, and much more. The FAW GCW Superstore has it all. Own your own piece of GCW history. Stock up on championship belts, t-shirts, and rare head scans. Build your collection of non-wrestling figures as well. You can do it all. Check out our eBay page now and make your collection something special. The hell you doing breathing in the corner like that, boy? You're scaring all the people away. It's very f creepy. But hey, I got your number right here. And I want you to go out there and kill it for me tonight, alright, son? Right, now, hold on. Not really. Alright, get the f out of here. We'll work on your social skills some other time. Okay, that was weird. I don't know who Stone Cold Steve Austin was talking to backstage, but they must have been a pretty special entrant in the Royal Rumble. But speaking of special entrants, this will be the first time ever the GCW Extreme and live rosters will combine for the Royal Rumble. But right now, we got to move on to the next most anticipated match. The Forbidden Door was opened once again, this time by the Undisputed Era. Kevin Owens and Adam Cole walked into GCW Armageddon to take the gold off the stage creator just one more time. But this decision might have cost Owens everything. Now, at the GCW Royal Rumble, the original Undisputed Era will have one more shot at the gold when stage creator and Trey White team up with G-Man. Will this newly thrown together Not team really YouTube be able to coexist? And as you can see, people, the wait is over. Some people who might agree with me on that sentiment is the Undisputed Era. It's time to write down the final chapter in this book of WSC's rivalry with the UE, who happened to have left Kevin Owens in the dust at Armageddon. Yeah, very uncalled for tweet here by Adam Cole. He seems more concerned about the tag titles than his friend, Kevin Owens. Yes, it was such a terrible sight to behold, courtesy of this man, the stage creator, who thought he was doing the right thing by sending Kevin Owens to his possible death through those two tables up on top of the balcony. But now, he seems to be regretting his actions, and rightfully so. He could have killed that man. And honestly, we may never hear from Kevin Owens again. Yeah, we have to wait and see on Owens, but here comes their tag team partner. Here comes G-Man. The one person we do see again 
is G-Man. And he's been thrusted into this championship matchup. Honestly, some people might think that he has no reason to be here. But WSC is on a tirade of redemption. And I know a thing or two about redemption. Just ask my cousin, G-Man. And Vince McMahon has had his eye on him for a long time. And he was gunning for the opportunity to have him just strut his stuff along with the GCW Tag Champs against some of the most decorated and talented superstars in professional wrestling. Here we go, no oh. time being wasted, this is war! And G-Man says say less, but oh my god, not much to say as oh. Kyle and WSC working together to just discombobulate G-Man. I know he didn't mean to do it, but it's that miscommunication that I was honestly fearing in this matchup. Yeah, definitely Fish here with the Falcon Arrows. O'Reilly is fighting G-Man on the outside. And now what's Kyle O'Reilly thinking? Has his eyes set on the Fallen King. What's he doing here? Up on the apron, he goes flying. No, oh, he hits the knee right to the chin of my cousin. Oh my God, I felt that from here. And Kyle is really proud of himself, just like Adam Cole is with that chop. And now, looking to add some more punishment to the young champion, the man who just crippled his former partner. But honestly, at this point, I don't think Adam Cole really cares. And now Kyle introducing some new toys to this matchup as Bobby Fish sends MDT crashing onto the podium. Oh, this could be dangerous. Now look at Adam Cole. He has the chair set up. No, no, he can't be no. thinking what I think he's thinking. Oh my God, Lou, don't tell me. We're going to witness another dip in the Panama Sunrise. Oh. No! WSC able to escape. That could have been terrible. And now what's this? Oh, no. this is going to be terrible. No, look at this. No. The same thing. It does the Kevin no, oh. The creation of destruction on the chairs. And before WSC can go for the pin, the rest of the Undisputed Era wisely saved Adam Cole. But yep. did they save his career? That is the question. Yeah. And but wait, there goes my cousin as he oh. goes flying down onto Red Dragon with authority. The only way he knows how, reckless abandon. Now already so many crashes here early in the match with G-Man. It seems uh, like the titles are safe no. here. Wait, ducks the clothesline. No, oh, no. super kick Again. to WSC. That was meant for Bobby Fish. It definitely and now was. comes from behind, wheelbarrow onto G-Man. Kyle O'Reilly is there. Here it comes. Oh, the code breaker helps with the oh. assistant wheelbarrow suplex onto those chairs. But there's MDT with the Enziguri to try and even out the odds. Yeah, Trey White in there now, but oh, there's O'Reilly with the boot right to the face. But here comes Stage Trader loading up O'Reilly. Now look at the strength of the young champion here as he hoists him up top. Oh! Just crushes Kyle O'Reilly's ribs onto that turnbuckle. But oh my god, Bobby Fish oh. from behind, descending WSC, crashing onto the table set up outside. And I guess WSC got a taste of his own medicine there. Yeah, both Cole and WSC out, but Trey White with the backdrop. And oh. oh my god, did you hear that? I think Bobby Fish just has a concussion. His head bounced off the concrete ground. I think he got it worse than WSC. And now oh. there goes the regal suplex by Kyle O'Reilly. Dunks MDT on top of his head, but he's still up. You gotta give it to him. He knows how to fight for his own championship. But look at this, Kyle O'Reilly with the sleeper hold transferred into the guillotine. Squeezing the life of MDT. Super King. And oh my god, what a suplex by Trey White. This match has just been absolute insanity here. And now G-Man thinking of something, but oh. wait, there's Bobby Fish. Wait, what is that? Handcuffs. He's got, those are handcuffs. He's trying to handcuff G-Man. What in the hell? Oh, oh but G-Man doing a well enough job at fighting back. He has no idea how to handle this, but Bobby oh. Fish has a kendo stick to match. And as Nicole props the titles back up on the podium, G-Man's in trouble. This is just brutal, brutality. But wait, MDT trying to save his partner for the time being, trying to force the kendo stick away, but the numbers game is just too strong for Trey White. The 
what the oh, fuck? Oh no. Oh no. No. No, no, no. This is too much. He can't even defend himself in front of his friend, Nicole. Oh, oh. no. Oh my god, stop. Stop. That's my cousin. That's my family. He's looking dead into the eyes of Nicole, making her watch oh. as they torture her friend and my cousin. No, stop this. Stop this now. Oh my god, Adam Cole preventing anyone from stopping him. Look at this. Demon. Demon's not done. He still has fight. And the fight is ever and he's still hanging on even though he's getting mauled by those kendo sticks. But here comes empty oh, tail oh. in the house. Oh my god. What is going on here? Trey White over the post saving G-Man. Oh! And with the assist from G-Man, WSC is able to free him. At least from the clutches of the Undisputed Era, there's still the matter of the handcuffs. As you can see, MDT just had no regard for his own safety as he had to save G-Man there. Yeah, but now he gotta get off these cuffs. And now wait, Adam Cole looking to get a taste of his own medicine, but he's able to escape. And where the hell are they going? MDT, before he could do anything, gets attacked by Kyle O'Reilly. But still, he's not strong enough. After what MDT did, he has him hoisted up for this Canadian backbreaker. Oh. Look where he landed, right in front of us. Oh boy, this is why we got the best seats in the house. And now signaling for MDT to try something here. Climbing up the top. This is what happened last year. Oh my god, the oh. elbow drop from the post onto Kyle O'Reilly, crashing through our announce table. Oh my god, G Man can't no, believe him. No, look, fish, Johnny fish from fish. behind. He's gonna steal the championship. He's handcuffed. How can he kick, kick out, out like that? G Man, that's why he is the fallen king. And now, Bobby Fish not done here as he hits that German suplex right on top of his head. Wait a minute, G-Man back oh. up into the cutter! Not much offensive opportunities here, given that he's handcuffed now, but he thought of something real quick. Oh my god, this match has just been balls off the wall here. But now, where what the happened? hell? That, that's the sky. Wait, what? Donald Trump! Where the hell did he get here? Oh my god, he's in a skybox, and you know what? It's not surprising. I, I'm, I'm sure he could be the only one in this entire building who could afford a skybox. Oh my god, those things cost a bajillion dollars or something. I don't know. I'm not good at math. But what I am good oh. at is commentary, and I'm commentating this madness that's unfolding in front of me as G-Man and MDT watch on, hoping to god that WSC doesn't die. Oh! Suplex through the screen! And Donald Trump! I know I said I had the best seat, but I'm cold. Like Stay straight over the way railing. Beyond that, he's Speaking holding on. Beyond, this is way beyond heights. We saw Lars Sullivan plummet to his no, death. No, no, way higher than anything anyone could imagine here. As both of these men are just teeter tottering to certain doom. No. But Adam Cole, no, no way. No, like he's looking no. to throw him off. No, he's to kill our friend. No, please stop. Don't do it. What? Wait. Kevin Owens, he's back. Oh no. Oh no, it looks like he wants revenge on WSC for what he did to him. That Armageddon. Oh my god, don't tell me. Look what I got! Oh my god! Did we just see that? And a bull is dead! Kevin Owens! Turned to the side of good, and MDT using this opportunity for attitude adjustment! Gives it to Jamin as he uses the cuffs to lock in the G Lock, and Bobby Fish taps out! What have we just witnessed here? Can someone please get the cuffs off my cousin? This entire match was filled with moments that I just could not believe were real. Adam Cole is definitely dead. We know that much. But Kevin Owens, could he have forgiven WSC? Oh, wait! What the what? hell? Oh, no, it's done it to Donald Trump! Well, that's a face turn, all right, if I ever saw one. What a turnabout in this matchup. And we're only on the second match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. We still have much more action to come. And I just got one more thing to say. Can someone please get the cops off my cousin? In 2021, GCW went from making nothing to $1,500 a month. And we believe you can do something similar. 
So Danny Mouser and I have teamed up to bring you our Moneymaker Patreon tier. You will gain access to my mentorship helping you monetize your WWE figure fed on YouTube as well as Danny's and my personal sound effect <laughs> libraries to give you a head start on your fed. We will keep updating the sound effects frequently for members and I will host weekly Q&A sessions answering all your questions regarding monetizing your fed and strategies personalized for your YouTube channel. And with that ungodly sound, we bring you the long-awaited title match of tonight's event. Brock Lesnar took on four other men to get the opportunity to face Kota Ibushi on the same night. One can only wonder if even the Beast is 100% here. Yeah, we know he's a beast, but we have just seen the punishment that he has already taken tonight. Very, very tough challenge for Lesnar. That's right, in the Golden Star, Kota Ibushi has been on fire as of late. Ever since he debuted at Money in the Bank, he has staked his claim to the top of the mountain, defeating the likes of Will Ospreay, AJ Styles, and Kenny Omega on the same night. But can tonight be the night where he does the absolutely unthinkable and slay the beast once and for all? Yeah. Oh. oh my god, already jumping at the gate, but the F5's coming. Wait, Kota Ibushi, look at the strike at the oh. Oh. Last ride, last ride on to Brock Lesnar. We only got like five seconds into this no match. No way. Kamagoye, it's coming here for the beast. But oh, look at this. Brock Lesnar with the belly to belly suplex. Just able to escape the danger of the Kamagoye. Yeah, right out of the gate here, the action. And Lesnar just oh. throwing Ibushi. Oh no! Oh my god, no. he landed right on his neck! Ubushi's done for, I don't care who you are, nobody can withstand a suplex of that magnitude. But look at this, Ubushi's still fighting! He definitely has the heart of a champion as he fights off the beast! What? Oh, and Ibushi returns the favor! Ibushi's like half his size, Luke! He is, but so strong! Oh my god! Luke sold into the double knees, he just punctured his ribs! Oh, oh, the thunderous kick onto the chest of the beast! Brock might be stunned here, and Bushi sees his chest. Oh my god, and he just gets his head taken off with that lariat, and with that German suplex, Brock Lesnar is back on top of the mountain once again. Mocking Ibushi, saying that he's nothing worth the championship material, but look at this, Ibushi looking to prove him wrong by landing on his feet just for the roundhouse kick, but Lesnar, again. German suplex once again onto the champion. And Brock Lesnar's feeling the momentum here as he's getting ready for an F5. This could be the end of the reign of the Golden Star. It. Here it is, one, two, oh. and Lucy kicks out. Not many people can call themselves worthy of kicking out of the F5 from the beast Brock Lesnar, but Ibushi is sure as hell proving his worth here. But now what the hell is he doing? Oh my God, setting him up up top. No. What is going on in the sick and twisted mind of the beast? As Ibushi is laying helpless there. Oh my oh God, yeah. no. no. We've seen this no. at WrestleMania when he took the title from Kenny Omega. Ibushi's in trouble. Wait, there's Kenny. Oh my God, Kenny knows what it feels like to get dunked on his head from that high from the base. Oh, Ibushi sacrificing his own nutsack to get rid of Brock Lesnar. And that was a wise de decision. If Ibushi would have landed on his neck again, it would have been game over, especially from that top row. The look of concern on Kenny Omega's face speaks volumes. But Kota Ibushi is not going to let up, not one single bit in this big time matchup. But no, there's no, no way he can no. do this. There's no way he can do this. Oh, oh my God, from the outside of the ring, the German suplex dunks Brock Lesnar off his head. There and it is. That's the exclamation point with the Kamagoye. This is it. Wow. No, Brock Lesnar is still in the match. After everything Brock Lesnar has gone through on this night, he is still giving Kota Ibushi the fight of his life. But what's this? Up on top, Phoenix! Phoenix! Flash, he nails it! Pin him! What? Pin him! What the hell? What? K 
Penny! Penny, what the hell are you doing? Why did he do that? What the fuck? Kenny Omega just just attacked Brock Lesnar. But why? And, and by that decision, Kota Ibushi wins the match, but he didn't pin Brock Lesnar. He loses, Kenny Omega but looks retains. Looks very disappointed, not as disappointed as Kota Ibushi. I am absolutely confused here. What was Kenny Omega's plan? have so much hate for Brock Lesnar even after this absolute war of a matchup? Oh my god, I have no idea what to think, but there's plenty of action left to come! In 2021, GCW went from making nothing to $1,500 a month, and we believe you can do something similar. So Danny Melser and I have teamed up to bring you our Moneymaker Patreon tier. You will gain access to my mentorship helping you monetize your WWE figure fed on YouTube as well as Danny's and my personal sound effect Super libraries Danny! to give you a head start on your fed. We will keep updating the sound effects frequently for members and I will host weekly Q&A sessions answering all your questions regarding monetizing your fed and strategies personalized for your YouTube channel. See, it is time to find out who will main event. She said, oh, 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 no, no way. way. No, 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 please don't tell me. Is he actually here? He is. It's been an entire year. He is. The dead man. There he goes. Wait. Whoa. And again! 
Edge just walked right into that one. Honestly, I blame Edge on that. Yeah. Just stared Jeff Hardy right in the face as he gets his huevos slocked off. Oh, no. Pushed and paid onto Rob Van Dam. And just like that, his comeback story comes to an end oh. as he gets yeeted over the top rope. This is very, very interesting. The Intercontinental Champion has made it to the Royal Rumble. And if you remember, last year he debuted and he had a hell of a run. He eliminated a whole lot of guys and sure as hell made a great impression with the GCW Universe. But now... Things are heating up here as Jeff Hardy doesn't want to shake hands with Jay White. He's the guy who took his money in the bank at WrestleMania in the first place. Oh, exactly. Oh my God. Huge suplex onto the neck of Jeff Hardy as Jay White. I don't think he much cares about apologies at this point. Oh my God. Huge spike DDT onto Edge. And Jay White is looking to regain that same greatness he got from the first time he showed up here in GCW. But Jeff Hardy has different plans. Nicely done. Now going for the drop kick in the corner, but White and Hardy hangs on. And oh, Hardy finds his way back. Jeff Hardy just saw his life flash before his eyes there. He was almost eliminated. And I almost jumped out of my seat and started twerking in its celebration. Oh, God! Oh my goodness gracious, this does not smell good news for Jeff Hardy because Scarred Matt Hardy has returned! And Jay White's getting the hell out of there for good reason. Matt Hardy looks like an image out of the depths of hell. He looks like a serial killer right now. As Jeff Hardy looks like he just saw a ghost. Jeff Hardy trying to come up with an alliance with his own brother. And at this point, I don't think it's gonna happen the way you think, Jeff. Oh. Because now, Scars will be your forgiveness! Oh, oh. God! Just before disaster! Again! Jeff Hardy! Again! the low blow onto his own brother. And to think that all this time, Matt Hardy has been plotting this just to get his ass handed to him by Jeff Hardy. And now mocking the Undertaker once more. This is how it all started with the Undertaker's legacy. Jeff Hardy looking for the tombstone, but oh, look at this. Oh. Jeff Hardy able to reverse it onto the apron. What's he thinking here? No, 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 don't do it. Oh, my God, tombstone onto the apron. Jeff Hardy is deceased. And Matt Hardy got his revenge in droves. Oh, wait, there's oh, Jay no. White. Oh. Uh, Matt Hardy eliminated, but honestly, I don't think that's any skin off of his bones because he had an entirely different goal in mind. Oh! And we keep going here, ladies and gentlemen. The extreme champion, Roman Reigns. Just imagine him winning and going to WrestleMania. He said that this Royal Rumble was going to be special. And what better way to make it so than with the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, laying waste to everyone inside the ring with that big boot to Edge, and now just targeting Jay White, just bullying him around, and tries to go for the spear, but instead he hits Jay White, misses the target, but Roman Reigns doesn't miss with that Superman punch, and there and goes the Reigns our superstar. Out. Just like that, Roman Reigns has stayed his claim to his yard here in GCW, as Matt Hardy continues his vengeance against his brother. Yeah, we have to see where that goes, but no, we get the next entry, and oh my god, it's Cody, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has definitely set the world on fire as of late, but here in TCW, you know, to put it lightly, he's kind of been sucking as of late. He was eliminated out of that lockdown cage match against the Bullet Club, in like 10 seconds flat as soon as he got into the match. But right now, he's taking the fight to Roman Reigns 
Oh, Roman Reigns tries to go for that back body drop. But here comes Cody. What's he thinking here? Moonsault off the top. Oh, oh my oh, God, what a count. Spears him out of midair. Slices him dead in half like a slice of meatloaf. And Cody can't save the oh. chance of break. I think it's safe to say to not try that move against Roman Reigns anymore, huh, Cody? <laughs> Uranagi onto Jay White. It looks like all these men in this Royal Rumble have been up more than they what? can Oh! 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 No! No! no. no. It's Nick fucking Gage! Who signed this guy? I mean, why is he in the right? I cannot believe my eyes! The absolute unstable monster of the deathmatch game! This after Roman Reigns! That guy's a lunatic! Champion. Oh. What the hell? He's got a hammer! Oh, he like to jab him in the eye there! Roman Reigns avoiding Nick Gage like the plague! And I think Nick Gage is way more oh, dangerous than the Uso. plague ever could have been! But here comes the Usos! Oh my god, wait! Nick Gage able to fight out! Oh. oh my god! They have to do everything they can to stop Nick Gage from committing murder here in GCW! This is a children's oh. program! And Nick Gage with the strength here. Ah, oh, just drives one of the Usos onto his head. There's oh, Roman. Roman, Roman oh, the, oh, the extreme champion. Excuse me. I'm just so shocked to see Nick Gage in this in this matchup. And now there goes Jimmy Uso over the top rope. It's unfortunate he's not even in the matchup. But oh, Nick Gage oh, and he eliminates Nick Gage just like that. Three on one. It had to be. But tough break for Nick Gage. As the fight for Randy Orton makes his appearance known in the Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns may have just escaped certain death by the hands of the god of this shit, Nick Gage. Definitely. And now, the Viper going after Jay White. Oh, RKO. What a counter there into the RKO off of the Blade Runner. And now, oh, oh another one. Right. Spear, but he just ran right into another RKO. The three most dangerous letters in professional wrestling history. As now, Randy Orton stands tall in the middle of the ring, looking to be the one to win it all here. The wait, oh, Spear by Roman Reigns. Randy Orton let his guard down just for a split second. Oh my God. That would make sense. The monster of this is here! And you know what I'm thinking, Luke? Yeah, I know. This is the guy Stone Cold was talking to backstage when Roman Reigns not taking any chances with this guy. He's a real threat to his championship. Yeah, I mean, all these lunatics in this match. I'm sure Austin signed both of them, Gage and Abyss. And oh my god, he goes right after White. And now the monster cleaning house here with the choke slam up to Randy Orton. And now Jay White is next on the sights of Abyss here. Oh yeah, that's oh it god, for White. Oh my god, he has him in the gorilla press. Is he gonna throw him up to there? Oh my god, Hopi oh, Luke! Oh, oh. oh, just like that, Jay White able to escape certain doom. Abyss was looking to throw him up to the announce table. The Roman Reigns trying to come from behind, but Abyss is just too much of a monster to handle. But now, here comes the phenomenal one, the leader of the Bullet Club, the man who shocked the world at last year's WrestleMania. Could he do it all again by becoming the winner of this year's Royal Rumble? Yeah, AJ definitely needs a big win. Now AJ Styles going for the phenomenal forearm, but Abyss able to catch him. Oh, Jay White from behind, and both of these Bullet Club members working together to make sure that the Bullet Club reigns yeah. supreme in this Royal Rumble match. Oh. Through the table! The same table Randy Orton had set up in the corner there. Bullet Club foot, foot, foot for life indeed. Oh, oh wait, Randy Orton tries to go for their RKO. Dragon suplex by Jay White. And AJ Styles with the back suplex to the outside. Randy Orton is eliminated. There he comes, Seth freaking Rollins. He already had a match earlier tonight, but here he is another time.
Here comes a prominent figure in this game. Seth Rollins going ham on everyone in this matchup here. And now look at to Roman Reigns, his former Shield brother. Looking to start an alliance here. Oh, oh Roman Reigns says that's all you, bro. That's all you. And now Jay White just knocked the lights out of the revolutionary, all right. As Roman Reigns watches on, the Bullet Club lay waste to the Messiah. Who could be next, though? Who's that? No. Am I a Chuck E. Cheese right now? What type of music is this? I don't know. I don't recognize this music. Oh! Oh, oh my God! It's Dan Housen! That little shit! Shit was hiding under the ring this whole time, looking for a chance to give somebody one of his patented, world famous curses. Oh, He's cursing Roman Reigns. This can't work in GCW. It doesn't. It doesn't seem. Oh, oh. It didn't seem to work. But oh Roman my God! Sure how made it work, and he just eliminated the Extreme Style Champion. Do you know what this means? Rollins now has the right to challenge him for the belt, but Dan Housen has a lot oh, worse yeah. problems oh, to no. worry about here in the form of Abyss as he just took oh. him to through that table on the outside. Dear God. Well, thanks for showing up, Dan Housen. We sure as hell appreciated you. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, this is going to be good. We got Abyss, and now we got Moxley. This is going to be a war. What a match this could be. Abyss taking on the innovator of unscripted violence, John Moxley. Both of these guys laying down the haymakers on each other, and none of them are willing to back down. Now Abyss going for the back breaker. Oh! Huge back breaker from Abyss, but Moxley right back with that lunatic lariat. Takes down the monster, and Moxley is on fire here. Wait, AJ Styles gets a close line for his troubles as well. Yeah, nicely done by Moxley. Now Moxley stalking Styles and the regal knee right to the face. And as Moxley lays waste to Abyss and AJ Styles, Jay White's trying to eliminate Seth Rollins, but who could be next here? Last year, these two 
started their rivalry, and now it seems that Dolph Ziggler wants to help MDT eliminate Abyss, but now MDT's oh. helping in a different way with that gratitude adjustment assisted with the rope. Goodbye, Dolph Ziggler, and hello, Trey White's chances of being GCW champion, or maybe not, as Jay White takes down my damn toys. Yeah, Jay White immediately on the offense as Abyss is trying to eliminate AJ Styles here in the corner. Oh, what a strike. Abyss was just brutalizing AJ Styles, but Jay White... Oh, 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 oh! His oh. Bullet Club brethren eliminate the monster! Seems as though AJ and Jay have each other's backs. And there's another debut! But now, first time ever, Lance Archer, the Murder Hawk monster, has arrived here. Oh my God! He just killed the cameraman. Yeah, he's dead. That poor man. He probably had a family. As Lance Archer is looking to do the same on everyone here in the Royal Rumble matchup so far. And now Rollins, oh up top, he gets caught looking for the blackout to the outside. This will surely be murder. Seth Rollins able to escape, huge elbow to the back of the neck of Lance Archer. Seth Rollins fighting for his life here, but Archer just too strong, too big, too powerful, oh. and too agile it seems, as he just stepped up on the rope and hit a moonsault like it was absolutely nothing. And here comes at number 19, Will Ospreay. Yeah, speaking of a man who breaks the laws of physics like it's nothing, here comes Will Ospreay, and as you can see, he's all taped up from that nasty bump he took in the hands of Brock Lesnar in that fatal five-way earlier this night. Yeah, that was brutal. Oh! Pele kick countered with that vicious kick to the midsection. Osprey is taking no prisoners here in this GCW Royal Rumble match. And now Osprey looking for that springboard. Lance Archer oh. looking to eliminate him right then and there, but Osprey holding on for dear life. Look at this. Oh! Runs right into a super kick by the Messiah. And you know, that had to have felt good for Seth Rollins. And just as I say that, he gets kicked right in the face by the Murderhawk monster. And now here comes our good friend Nathan, the stage creator. As he runs, oh, what the oh. hell? What? Nick Jackson! He's not in the match. the shit out of stage creator. And here comes Trey White to help out his buddy to help out his tag team partner. No. He called for it on oh. the Great Buster onto the concrete ground. They had a match earlier. And Nick Jackson looking to give a stereo as he clocks stage creator onto his head, onto the concrete ground. Oh no. Now why are you putting him back in? They just got done having a war with the other spinning era. They might as well be unfit to compete. But just to make sure that the message is sent, the Young Bucks have sabotaged the GCW Tag Team Champions. Yeah, the Young Bucks, the greatest tag team in GCW history. And I would say MDT and WSC, the greatest tag team of the modern era of GCW. But here comes Bobby Lashley. A man known for his GCW extreme exploits goes right after the biggest man in this matchup, Lance Archer. These two behemoths are doing battle like a kaiju battle. Now Lance Archer gets the spike buster from Bobby Lashley, and just like that, the almighty proves his worth. But Lance Archer gets right back up. Bobby Lashley wasn't taking no crap there. Pounced by Archer. Back in the rust spear oh. by Bobby Lashley. On what planet? Can you say that Bobby Lashley and Lance Archer will be doing battle here? But Bobby Lashley seems to be on different but levels Archer. here. Oh, Lance Archer oh. almost eliminated the Almighty, but there was MVP to save him. Lance Archer looks hella disappointed and hella mad at MVP for sabotaging his elimination. Now here comes a man synonymous for the word extreme. Jingoissimo Pentagon. Bro, oh, wait, the what the hell? Out. The dangerous techers attacking MVP. And now Pentagon laying waste to everybody. 
But the dangerous Tankers have made their appearance known. And Bobby Lashley and Lance Archer still fighting. Yeah, Osprey. Tankers helping a Archer. Kick to Lance Archer. Assists oh. in the elimination along with Bobby Lashley. But from behind, Osprey hits that vicious elbow. Bobby and Lance are out of the rumble. And Osprey gets the boot to the face by Pentagon. And now Pentagon trying to go for that monkey flip. Osprey, oh! My God! Just knocked the teeth out of Pentagon's mask! Wait! No! No way! Could it be? Hiroshi Tanahashi! New Japan Pro Wrestling Zone! Ace! AJ Styles can't believe it, neither can I. And you know what, there's been rumors going around that New Japan has been starting its cross-promotional exploits around the globe. Hiromu Takahashi showed up in FAW not too long ago, and now Hiroshi Tanahashi is here in GCW. What could this mean for the future? It will oh! be interesting. What a maneuver there by Tanahashi. Yeah, the twisted as shell. Pentagon's looking to eliminate AJ Styles here. And now Tanahashi has Osprey in his clutches. Osprey holding on for his life, for his livelihood, for his chances at the GCW Championship. Oh! Look at this! It's Alpha your man. Academy! I didn't think we'd see these guys! And it's my man Otis! Oh, hell yeah, that's my pick right there. Look, oh, God. Huge dragon suplex onto Will Ospreay as Otis. Oh, my God. Otis is just hauling ass. I guess Vince McMahon saw something in this man. As he's now looking to eliminate the Messiah. Otis has a great chance of winning here. He got here pretty late in the game. Oh, oh no. Just like that, Jay White pulling out the strength of Hercules to take down Otis. Yeah. But now Tanahashi going after AJ Styles. But once again, Jay White saving his brethren. And they're working together very well here. Here comes a man synonymous with violence. Synonymous with sadistic nature, if you will. Drew McIntyre is here to slay everybody in his sights here as Otis is the first on his list. A brave soul, Otis is, oh. as Osprey gets dunked on his head with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Drew McIntyre's on fire here. Otis tries again, but he gets the neck breaker. And it seems like I was wrong. Drew McIntyre does do the neck breaker, okay? I told you. You win, so. Luke. Yeah. We had a debate off screen earlier tonight. German suplex there. Jay White fighting for his life. Making sure he doesn't get ducked on his head. But now Pentagon looking for that destroyer onto AJ Styles. Here it comes. Oh my oh. God! Osprey leap 10 feet in the air. Just a punt kick. Pentagon's face off and eliminate his chances at the Royal Rumble. Osprey, as you can see, he's still clutching at his neck. He's still feeling the effects of that bump he took from Brock Lesnar earlier tonight. But now Balor. Finn Balor, the prince, is here as Otis is making short work. Oh, no! Not as short as Finn Balor's work on him with that shotgun drop kick. Osprey and Otis are down. Tanahashi could be next in line as Finn Balor looks to hit that sling blade. There it is! Beautiful. Tanahashi is down. Finn Balor is on top of the world. This could be his chance to right the wrongs of his past. And Jesus oh, oh. he tries to eliminate Seth Rollins, but he slipped. Thank God Seth Rollins is probably thinking. Or thank himself, since he views himself as God. And oh no. Oh no. How many more big men are we going to introduce in this matchup as Braun Strowman makes his comeback here? Oh! What a shot from Braun Strowman as he's going right after Jay White. Oh, big boot to Otis. Let's go for that clothesline. Drew McIntyre tries to hit the Claymore, but oh. he gets eliminated by Braun Strowman. As you can see, the disappointment in the eyes of Drew McIntyre, another chance at greatness just slipped by. Yeah. Braun Strowman celebrating. But wait, Otis! 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 No way! He no just way. eliminated Braun Strowman! Oh my God! Otis is the man! And Seth Rollins looking to spoil the final super kick to Otis. No, 
wait, don't tell me. Otis now. No! Oh! Sidewalk slam! That's my pick right there! Oh, God. Your friend, he's back. Just like last year, Lars Sullivan is here to make everyone's life that much worse. And now, Otis and Lars Sullivan going tip for tat, head to toe in battle. And now back, body oh. jump! Oh my god, I'm surprised the ring didn't just collapse with the weight of Otis falling down from the skies there. And now, Ben Ballard gets thrown over the rope but not eliminated. Oh! Tanahashi feels the wrath of Lars Sullivan. Now nobody knows what to do. Lars Sullivan is just, is just on a rampage here. And now it's time to see if Kenny Omega can pull out one more miracle in his career here in GCW this past year. He could be the one to win the GCW Royal Rumble. He could be the one to fix all of the wrongs that have happened this past year. Dragon rush to everybody in sight as Kenny Omega is looking to stake his claim to the Royal Oh no! Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, I thought that was it for, for ben Balor. Kenny already. Teetering over the top. Ducks the clothesline from Osprey. Goes for that 1916 here. Reverse 1916 rather. Oh, oh he what a counter! What a counter! Apron. Ben Balor is gone, and Osprey pulls out another whimsical maneuver. And number 30 is none other than the G-Man. And your last cousin. year it was rumored that he was going to be number 30. Instead, it was Lars Sullivan. And now Sullivan looking to right down. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. The G-Man just eliminated Lars Sullivan just like that. Oh, my God. Oh, the LaFleur can celebrate too hard. Jay White takes down G-Man, but Otis takes down Jay White. And here comes AJ Styles to protect his Bullet Club oh. brother. But oh, Styles eliminated by Otis. How big is that for Otis? AJ Styles eliminated. Oh, here's Shikoroshi out to Tanahashi. And there goes the forbidden door. Oh, oh. my God, now! Jesus Christ, how he many more on. times is Omega going to Obos be eliminated? Oh, huge elbow to the back of the head of Seth Rollins. Jay White, looking to get eliminated by Otis. Jay White, no, 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 no. Otis, what? Wait a minute, what, what the hell? What? what the hell is this? He's eliminated. AJ Styles just came out of nowhere. And eliminated Jay White. Why? What the hell? Even G-Man's confused. I I have no idea. But oh, oh. Osprey. Oh, no. Missing out no. the final no. on Otis. And just like that, my man Otis is gone, but... Like we're at an impasse here. The final four of this year's Royal Rumble are here. Oh, feet trigger to the mouth of G-Man. Huge pump kick to the face of Kenny Omega. Super kick to Seth Rollins. And now Osprey gonna go for that. Oh! Huge into Gurry. G-Man looking to eliminate Osprey. Osprey's hands free. This is the counter. Oh my God! Now G-Man trying to. Close the gap between him and the GCW Championship. But Osprey has different plans here. Oh, big boot to the side of the head, but G-Man is still hanging on. Big boot from Kenny Omega. This is absolute insanity here. It is. Oh, Seth Rollins runs into G-Man. G-Man, suplex starter. Suplex starter. Rollins, 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 Rollins is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. That's the biggest low. Oh. Hit Oh, my God. Hit and play to the back of the head of G-Man. And he is eliminated. Oh, and now Lord we're down Angel. to two. Both of these men want the GCW Championship more than air, more than food. But oh my god! Oh my god, Dragon Rush has a reversal from the Oz Cutter. And now Kenny Omega goes for the oh, stage. Oh. oh my god! Just this close. He's this close to being eliminated. Kenny Omega gets the Oz Cutter. Oz Cutter right now eliminated. Kenny Omega is eliminated. And Will Osprey is the winner of this year's Royal Rumble. What a match, what an ending have we just witnessed here. Will Ospreay is going to WrestleMania 10. What a showing here. After everything Will has sacrificed, after everything he suffered, he comes out on top here at the Royal Rumble match.
There you have it. Sweet, sweet vindication. I told you. I told all of you losers that I'll take my rightful place at the top of the mountain if it was the last thing I ever do. No matter how hard these dickheads in the locker room try, no matter how hard the geezers in the suits try, I will always find a way to prove why I am on an entirely different level. No one can touch me. I defy the laws of physics for a fucking living. And at WrestleMania, I'm going to defy something else. I'm going to defy the hopes and dreams of Koda Ibushi. As I finally take the GCW World Championship and prove once again that Will Ospreay is the greatest professional wrestler on the planet. And after that, there'll be nothing to prove. What a performance here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, by Will Ospreay. Going through what he has done through, you gotta give respect to this man, Will Ospreay. And it seems we have a WrestleMania 10 GCW Championship match set. We thank you all for joining us here tonight for the Royal Rumble.